I feel like the concept of heroism has gotten lost over time, especially when it comes to Dungeons and Dragons and MCDM's new RPG. Both build themselves as heroic fantasy, and I think it's fair to call them that, and yet something still feels wrong. The other folks, Rel here. Today I wanted to share some thoughts on the concept of heroic fantasy and get your take on it too, because I've been thinking about it a lot lately while developing Distal, my new TTRPG, which you can support on Patreon. When I think about heroic fantasy, the stories that immediately come to mind are the ones from Lord of the Rings, people overcoming extraordinary odds not because they know that they will succeed, but because they know that success is not likely and that they need to try anyway. Depending on what kind of dungeon master you are, this may be how you run your campaigns already, but you're almost certainly not in the majority. In the mainstay of Dungeons & Dragons campaigns, you are the big, powerful heroes, you enter most fights with full health because you had a good night's sleep, there's never any long-term damage for being on the brink of death, and there is rarely ever any real danger put in front of you in the first place. That's not heroic fantasy, that's basically power fantasy. By my estimation, a hero is a hero because of the sacrifices that they make, the hardships that they overcome, and the decisions that they have to live with in service of a greater good. I'm a big fan of when a game's mechanics supports its themes, and if you take Dungeons & Dragons at face value, the mechanics don't really support the narrative that sacrifice is important. Characters begin as an above-average person that become demigods very quickly, Resurrecting dead characters is easy to perform, and a brush with death is barely a scratch. There's a reason that we have memes about parties being murder hobos, because if the local guard is trying to deny you entrance into the city, you know, just doing their job, what's stopping your 5th level wizard from just vaporizing them? That said, you can still have heroic moments within the game, especially if you've got a DM who is good at weaving a story. But in the moment to moment, your choices rarely matter because the consequences are rarely felt. Of course, mechanics are only half of this discussion. Most of the present day 5e audience came into the game through Critical Role, and because of that, their outlook on how the game should be played was shaped either directly or indirectly due to the culture at Matt Mercer's table. If the Mighty Nine were a TPK in the middle of a campaign, that would be the end of the campaign, and also super awkward. If a beloved character dies off, you want that death to have some incredibly powerful meaning in the moment, a larger impact in the story. Now translate that to real life, where your table isn't full of professionals and isn't playing D&D for a living, and it's pretty obvious to see why GMs would want to protect their players from anything too horrible happening. If you lose a character that you've spent months crafting, you might just quit the campaign instead of coming back with a new character. If your character has to make really hard decisions that would impact their mental state, that might end up going down a path you don't feel comfortable role-playing or playing at all. In other words, creating real consequences at the table has a bunch of real-world baggage to sift through, and it makes sense that not everyone would be down for the hard things that a traditional hero needs to do. With all that said, and for those who are willing, how do we get back to feeling like our choices matter? You can obviously homebrew it all into 5e, and make sure that your party is on board with the type of game that you want to run. You can add permanent scars or exhaustion when you go unconscious. You can get rid of revives in your world, and you can slow down the leveling curve or make sure that the world at least keeps up with you. And you can run a setting that feels less whimsical and more heavy. But the game would barely be 5e anymore. Alternatively, you can play a game where the mechanics support your goals. And this is kind of the part where I pitch Distal to you. Distal is a grounded but not gritty high fantasy system built on character stories, conflict, and consequence. Each character is adventure worthy, and their backstories are an important part of their design. You develop an organization for your party during session zero, immediately embedding those characters in the world and giving them a reason for doing what they're doing. Distal focuses heavily on the people that you meet, the decisions that you make, and how your character's outlook changes as they continue to endure the hardships of life as an adventurer. At the same time, we don't needle you about how many rations you have or how far a horse can travel in a day. We focus on the narrative of the world and your character's place within it, while retaining a tactical combat system 
you're already accustomed to if you come from a Dungeons & Dragons or Pathfinder background. You can get the core rules right now for free from playdisrpg.com. If this video has been interesting, helpful, or entertaining, please feel free to like, subscribe, tell your friends about the channel, and let me know what you think about the concept of heroic fantasy, and whether or not you think that it's a deserved title, or if we've strayed too far from the mark. You can do that in the comments section down below. Thanks very much, folks. We're all signing off.